Hey y'all, Kathy here with Living Miracle Homestead. Well, I'm telling you, this yard is crazy overgrown and I'm trying to do a little bit at a time and it's just, it just feels like I ain't getting nowhere. But I wanna show you some stuff. I'm telling you, these, these angel trumpets are out of sight. Let me show you this. They are, these are the ones that I chopped back down to the ground not too long ago because I really don't want them there. That was an accident. Oh, and there's a mushroom. I gotta find out what kind of mushroom that is. Huh. Anyways, um, look how beautiful they are. And the bees are just eating them up. I'm so glad that my girls have got something to chew on. Also, the, uh, um, blooms are coming on really nicely. I've got several fruits. And oh, looky there. I got one ready to pick. Yay. Let's see. Where did I see him? I just saw him. Right there. Ah. Well, he's a little underripe, but that's all right. I'll eat it anyways. Is that the only one? You see all those? You see all those? Uh, there's some green ones right there. And all those uh, blooms? Yeah, I'm going to have tons of them soon. I can't wait. I'm so excited. So, so excited. I can't get over the, how beautiful this tree is. I sure wish the front one would do the same, but I think it's a different variety or something. Because it's just not, it's just not having any blooms or anything on it. Anyways, it is what it is. This one's got little green, little green, uh, thingies everywhere. See them? And all kinds of them. I mean, everywhere. And see these green ones here? They will be black or purple black uh, very soon. I have to keep my eye on it or else I lose them. So, <laughs> that's pretty exciting. And the other day I did see a few. Uh, there's one. Whoops, there's an ant on it. A uh, few miracle fruit. I don't see the other one. I have to look it over really good to find them. I really love these things. I love to be able to go out in my yard and get whatever I want to eat that's, that's coming in, right? In this beautiful and all these beautiful white ones. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. One of these days, I'm going to have this yard all fixed up beautiful. Oh, well. And looky here. My, uh, my um, ginger is doing really good down there. I'm going to have to get something in that pot growing. But I'd like to get some mint growing in that. That would be really gorgeous growing out in that pot. Anyways, I'm going to eat these and I'll be right back. Okay, so I had been watching uh the Florida Life, I think it's called, is her channel. Erie is over there. Um, Erie, I mean. I'm sorry. I pronounce it wrong a lot. Anyways, Erie has uh, loquats too, and hers was blooming. So I, And I knew mine was blooming, but hers had some fruit on them. And I was coming out to see if I got any fruit. Well, these guys are fruit. They're dead blooms. Sorry. 
so I do have some dead blooms on here so I should have some <coughs> sorry fruit soon hopefully goodness gracious there's so much dust back here and all I can do is sneeze and of course there's got to be a squirrel back here too aggravating me I don't know where he's at I hear him oh that's ginger what are you doing back there ginger huh get out of there you ain't supposed to be back here I've got to do something about my lime poor thing is all covered up with this uh, beautiful Mexican sunflower but check this out I got some more flower buds coming out here and as you can see all those up there looking wonderful so I should have lots of fruit on this this year I hope I hope I hope I hope I don't know what she's after what are you after girl is, is that quail out there? I wonder if that quail's still loose out here and she's after it. Oh well, I don't see anything. See how overgrown it's gotten? I have got to get busy out here. But there ain't no time. So, I'm going to have to make some changes. And just make time for my, for my first love. And and of you know things to do around here is working in the garden and enjoying my critters out here <laughs> them um barred rocks are getting humongous i can't get over how big them girls are getting <laughs> i hope they start laying eggs soon they should be but i don't know I got seven eggs today, but some of those were from yesterday, I think. <laughs> that one's a pistol. Look how look how full she is. Her her uh, craw is full of food. <laughs> every one of them stuffed to the gill and I picked up some of these uh, see the blooms fall from the banana and I decided not to cut it so that I could continue to get some more blooms for the chickens because the chickens love them and so did the bees the bees see the bee right there on the end Drinking the nectar. Can't hold still. <laughs> they enjoy that, uh, they enjoy that, uh, bloom. And like I said, I try to keep plenty of blooms for them. There's another angel trumpet out here by the back fence that um, they have. And of course, they've got all the fruit tree blooms. Pretty exciting about that. So, let me take you around here. So, I have so many star fruit that are coming in really nicely. But, looky here, a lot of them are on the ground. I need to get them into a compost bin because I don't want my chickens to have too many of them. I do give them a few to eat, but I don't want them having too many of them. And look at all that manure down there. Isn't that great? I'm going to harvest all that this week too and put that in a spot that I can mix with the soil out front that we bought and see if I can tone it down some. Anyways, I got a lot to do. A lot, lot, lot to do. <laughs> but I want to go in here and I'm going to harvest 
some of my, I have to close the door or else the dog will come in here. This is what I want to harvest. Some of these blooms from the sage, pineapple sage. And I am going to try making a drink with these. Oh, I got a whole, a whole stem. I wonder if I buried that, if it would grow. Hang on. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm leaving plenty for the, the bees, right? Gosh, this smells so, so good. So I planted it in here, and while I was planting it, looky here, I got a Malabar spinach coming up. <laughs> so that'll be interesting. And see how I said about the florets coming out on the um, broccoli after you cut it? If you leave it there for a little bit, it'll keep on having broccoli coming out of the sides. Yes, they're little, but who cares, right? They're still eat. So, I want to get me some more of this, and this is peppermint. I want to uh, get a good pinch of that, so I can put that in my tea also. And uh, I found out that sage, uh, pineapple sage, has great medicinal purposes. You can look that up. Um, and see about it. So I was able to hook that around and it stayed. Thank the Lord. Now see, these beans are not quite ready yet. They're getting, they're getting there though. They're filling out pretty nicely. And that's about the only tomato plant that looks the best. There. I don't know which one it is. I hope that's a Cherokee tan. But, you know, I got a whole bunch of them too that uh, came up from the from the uh, tomatoes that I got from the Amish. So, uh, I got a lot of volunteers in that uh, compost bin. But everything's looking pretty good. Uh, I gotta get busy, 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 busy. It's so sad, everything's so puny looking. And look at all this that has grown back so far. I've gotta get that out, gotta get that out. Hmm. And as you can see, I cut my, I did cut my, uh, uh, what do you call them? Papayas back really good. And I put them all underneath there so that it'll compost down and uh, I'm going to use this underneath here as another compost thing. So, but check out the bok choy. It's coming along nicely, isn't it? I'm very, very happy with that. I should probably... Oh, I pulled up a, a lettuce. Didn't want to do that. Anyways, I probably should... Uh, Thin it out, and I definitely need to do something with all of this ginger. This ginger, I need to dig up and you know thin it out some, but that won't be today. I just love smelling the when you brush it, brush up against it. Mm, it smells good, it smells really good. So, anyways, folks. I am going to uh, close this one out by saying I hope you guys like this video. Subscribe to me and uh, share it with your friends. And I'll see you next time here on Living Miracle Homestead. Bye now.